In this tutorial, we'll be creating a vicious engine surface. Surfaces allow 3D objects to have collision with other objects. So the first thing we should do is click on the game, or just press G. And then underneath groups, we want to slide down underneath there and choose surfaces. And click on the edit next to that. And we're going to create a new surface. We already made a material called Lava Jake, so we'll just call this Lava Jake as well. I'm going to look at the collision mask. Now these numbers all refer to different things that our lava can collide with. So for instance, if I choose one, then my lava will collide with any other thing that has a collision mask of one. Um, in a real game, what you'll want to do is make an Excel spreadsheet or a table where you keep track of what collides with what and so that you know what to assign. The debug draw color, I would also select that. That way, if you're in collision view, you'll be able to see um, what things have the lava for collision. And I would probably choose red. So I'm going to make red 200, green 0, and blue 0. So that gives me a red color. Then these things down here, the flags, are for different things. Like for instance, if we were making grass, we would probably want a soft contact. Now you might say, well, why do you want any collision at all with grass? And that's a good question. You, normally, you wouldn't really need any collision with grass. But if you want to have soft contact collision, what that does for you is it doesn't stop you from walking through it. It doesn't really make a collision. But it does send out the signal you can have events trigger so that you could have, for instance, a sound play, like grass swishing sound, every time you're touching the grass. And then all of these other events you could also use if you have some type of collision or soft contact. But if you actually want there to be collision that stops you from going through it, you don't want to select that. So for us, when we get to the lava, we want to be able to walk over it. So let's click on soft contact. For slide would mean if we started to walk over it, we'd actually start sliding as if it were like ice. So if we had momentum, we would kind of slide over it. Or if it was kind of going at a decline, we would slide down it. The applied position force, I'm just going to click on that for a second. But you can see that it gives a force heading and a force magnitude. So, for instance, if you wanted to type, up, if you wanted to have like a trampoline type effect, where when you like stepped onto lava, it would make shoot upward, or for instance, maybe shoot downward into the lava or something. Then you can mess around with the force heading and force magnitude. We're going to uncheck that. The other things that are important are these events down here. You will use those quite a bit in in the code. For instance, if you step on top of the lava you might want to sink into the lava or whatever you want to happen when that collision happens. For now we're not going to do anything with those. We're going to press Control S and you can see that we're saving a surface and click OK. And then one more step is to go to the Asset Manager. So we're going to click on File, Asset Manager and we want to make sure we check that in so that it's on the server. And there's the check in button and to make sure it was checked in, we can click on this and click on the new checked out, and now it's not there. So everything's been checked in. And that's it. So you have now learned how to create a vicious engine surface to give collision to your 3D objects.